Today on Natural Bushcraft we're going to take a look at how to use a traditional flint and steel. Um, you can see here what a traditional flint and steel looks like. As you can see the steel can come in a variety of different shapes and it doesn't have to be a piece of steel that's specially crafted for the job. You can in fact use the edges of other steel tools um, and if they have a high carbon content they'll work well to provide sparks. So let's take a look at how we use one. Today I'm going to use char cloth as my tinder. Um, so to use the traditional flint and steel I would first look um, at my piece of flint and look for a relatively sharp edge to work on. So once you've got your sharp edge along one side I would take the flint in my left hand I'm right handed myself so this might change for you I would take my tinder so in this case a piece of char cloth and I would place that on top and line it up so it's just sort of overlapping the sharp edge there I'd hold the tinder down with my thumb I'd take the steel in my right hand and we would be aiming to just strike the steel along the, that sharp edge we don't want to hit it too hard that way we're aiming to skim it so if we just give this a go you can see there that the char cloth is caught and then with this we can transfer this to our tinder bundle So we'll take one more look at striking the traditional flint and steel um, a little closer up this time. So you've got your flint there, your sharp edge and your char cloth on the top, striking down. <laughs> 